Hey, what's up interwebs? I'm that toy guy and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lego Bionicle 2015 Summer Set number 70793 Skull Basher. So here he is and first we'll take a look at the box. So here's the box. You have a really nice picture here that you cannot do on the actual toy, which sucks. That's why I display the box on my wall because I like this pose. But you have all your information here. You have Onua reaching for his mask. You have his name, Lego, Bionicle, Mask of Creation. On the back you have the comic of them charging and him stealing Onua's mask and him being all evil and the Toa wanting to help Onua. You got all the gimmicks and stuff on the side, actual size mask, and the combination models. And him in another pose he cannot do. That's about it for the box. And one thing I forgot to point out in Skull Slicer's review is that these are the See, look at that. Look at how easy that was. Just to squish this thing. I'm so happy the new boxes can't do that. Oh yeah, box. I did not hit my size comparison this time. Here's the manual. Same picture. No warning. He does have... What is it? 26 pages? Yeah, 26 pages. There's page 26. There's the parts count. Again, there's the combo model. All the figures you need to make it, the website which doesn't work for this combo model anymore, it's got the new one up there. App information, poster, win. Now it's on the floor. And here is on Onua. This is Onua's nemesis, here is Skullbasher, and I wish he was bigger. Right off the bat. I, he, in, the, in the cartoon that was released on LEGO's website, he was a lot bigger. And this set is significantly smaller, like here he is next to a deluxe. Right off the bat. There he is next to a Deluxe. He's pretty small. But yeah, this one's one of the more unique sets. Him and Skull Scorpio being the most unique of the bunch because of their their gimmicks. And, um, I don't know if you can hear that noise, but the air conditioning's turned on. It's really loud. Anyway, he can hold his mask, or Onua's mask, in these axes here, which are flexible. And that's for Skull Grinder, which I will get to whenever I get a Skull Grinder. But, they can hold masks here and they can rip them off. Same way as um, Skull Scorpio. Skull Scorpio. Skull Slicer, so I'm not going to show that off. Well, actually, I'll show it off. They work just by these hooks here. Gripping the back of the mask and just pulling it right off. So these blades, first of all, are new pieces. And they look awesome. These look like what Lewa should have used instead of the propeller blade things that he had. But I do understand them. And I do like them. Now, new pieces wise, he's got the new mask, he's got the uh, new pauldron pieces, new axes, new um, chest piece, um, rib cage, and new printing on the chest piece, which I like this printing a lot. This one is awesome. It's got a, rib ca a mechanical rib cage and a chain going across that's not making my camera focus on it. But yeah, that's cool. Now, his articulation is a little bit odd. He has the head, the hips, the knees, the feet, all the articulation Skull Slicer had, sans two arms. Let's get that out of here for now. But he also has armpit joints that will spring right back thanks to a little Technic um, thing, I don't know what that's called, there. That's the gimmick, you see this giant red button on his back? Now normally people would say don't push the red button. In this case, you push it, he will smash forward. Hence the name Skull Basher, he'll also do this. You just take him and he will punch side to side. Now this gimmick is good in concept, but it didn't exactly play out well in set form because it's very makes the thing very floppy. There's no friction to the joints, and that kind of sucks. But he's posable. You can pose him in whichever way you want him, and he will pose there. Now looking at Onua's mask here, this looks cool too. Again, reminds me of the Grape Jolly Ranchers. Which is awesome. I like this a lot. And this is one of the few masks 
that can actually fit on his head due to the way the horns are constructed. Like, Tahu's mask will not fit on there, but then again, why would you want to put that there? Now, the, another big glaring problem this set has with horns. While they look cool and give him his minotaur look, you flick the horns, his mask's going to fall right off. So on the shelf, make sure this guy's standing at the front of your display shelf, because if he's in the back and you put something in front of him or you remove something in front of him, you knock that, there goes his mask. And then you will lose. I lost this for about a week. That, that kind of sucked. I found it when I was vacuuming. But yeah, these also kind of give the appearance of, like, fur, I guess. So he looks like an undead minotaur. So he's he's awesome. He's cool. I like this one. This is my second favorite of the, of the uh, whole wave that I've owned so far. He does have the big Onua feet. And the purple, which kind of goes in with, again, the theme of him being Onua's arch nemesis. Let's put that in here. And I love how the mask just, like, clicks in there and can be held. And again, he has pseudo-everything light piping. So, again, he can join on with his buddy Skull Slicer here. In their epic everything piping. And here, you know, let's get rid of the mask. Here he is with Skull Warrior. Again. And they look like a very nice... Very candy looking team, and I want candy now. But yeah, Skull Basher's cool. I like him. I definitely recommend you pick him up as well. Even if you don't want to get him for the set, if you want to get him for the pieces, he has some really nice exclusive pieces in the set. Like everything that's purple, and the axes, and the gimmick, even. If you want to put gimmicks in your mocks, then you can use this gimmick as a guideline for other gimmicks you want to make. But he's cool. He's my second favorite of the bunch. You can probably guess by now which one's my favorite. But yeah, that has been my look at the LEGO Bionicles 2015 Somerset Skull Basher. I forgot his name already. And I'm that toy guy, and stay tuned for my next video.